Just three months ago, this factory in Maldersdrift, Johannesburg, was filled with more than 100 workers each day. The workforce was made up of residents from nearby squatter camps and residents of the Logwood village, on which the factory stands. Assembling between 500,000 and a million plugs and fittings monthly. But then... Unfortunately, you don't know, maybe the business was going down, they don't have the correct number of people, the correct facility. Mm -hmm. That's not even yet. Now it's a hurry. And these were no ordinary workers. Lovewood Village is a home for mentally impaired grown-ups. We only accept uh, adults from 18 years and over. And we provide not only a residential facility here for approximately 105 residents, we also have a day program where residents come in and visit us for the day. And we also have a community outreach um, program that we have. And we also provide work on an ad hoc basis for 60 women from a local informal setting. And um, we're talking about labour intensive type work. It's manual work, repetitive work that our residents can cope with. Um, it is work that other people would probably get bored with, but our residents take pride in it. And quality control is their main feature. Our residents love to check each other and make sure that everything is done properly. Since the closure of the workshop, the residents have been allocated to other work duties so they can continue earning a salary, but also to feel like they belong somewhere. Making a contribution to your community. Yeah. People think that if you are impaired or if you are disabled, then you can't do anything for yourself. You have to actually wait for handouts and some people have to actually do things for you. And over the years, that has been the perception in people's minds. But with the program that we have here at the But it's not all about work at Logwood, with the village having its fair share of Paralympic sports stars as well. I went in '95. I went, I went to the Special Olympics um, for summer camps, and I came back with a gold medal. And even an Ironman triathlete. So it's not easy. Eh? <laughs> Everyone was a bit emotional when we came into the coffin. Line. It's everybody was so emotional that we finished. While the residents now have to find other ways to while away the days, Logwood depends on their smaller contracts to help pay the bills. But they hope something will come along soon to ensure that their 100-strong family can stay together.